Hi there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, where you can find solutions that ignite your power. Thanks for joining us this week, where every Wednesday we do a Google Workspace tip as well as post quite a bit of supply chain and operations content. So if that's stuff that you want to learn more about, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you can see whenever we go live or a new video posts and you can get all the supply chain op and operations and business content for free to help you grow in knowledge. We're glad you could be here this week. Well, this week we're going to we're going to be working in Google Sheets and in Google Slides. So if you're like us, you make a lot of slide presentations. So behind me, you'll see that we have a slide presentation open, and we also have our Google Sheet presentation open right behind us here. And let's just say that we built a progress chart. We've been working with those quite a bit. And we don't want to present off of our Google Sheet here. As you can see, this would be a little bit tricky to stand in front of a bunch of executives and business owners and talk them through a spreadsheet like this. You'd have to really adjust it quite a bit. So <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to put this in our Google slide. And Google Workspace makes this really easy to do. So what we want to do is we just want to grab the content that we have and highlight it. So in our case, we're going to select this range of cells and then we're going to copy it. And you can do that by pressing Command C on a Mac or you can come right up here to edit and hit copy. And now that we have it copied, we're going to jump over to our, our Google slide here. And let's say we want to post it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this text bar and we're gonna paste it in there. And you'll see there's two options that we can use. One is to paste it unlinked, and if we do that, then the spreadsheet will not update. It'll just keep the current data that you grab. But what we wanna do is we wanna link it to the spreadsheet so that every time we come back to it, we can simply refresh it and see the updated data. So we're gonna go ahead and click Paste, and you'll see that the data goes right in there. Now here's something cool about uh, embedding your um, Google Sheet inside of a, a, a Google slide. You can see right here we have all the current data. And let's say we just kind of want to make it a little bit prettier. We can highlight these cells. We can bold it. We can make our text a little bit bigger if we want. We can kind of edit it. But then let's say that one month we're inputting our data and uh, for example, let's say that our year-to-date sales on 23456 jumps up to 50,000. And so you see that our progress goal has changed. And let's say this one jumps up to 1456. So that one changes. And let's say this one drops a little bit. So it's 75,000 now. So all this data has changed and we don't wanna go through the embedding process all over again. Well, this is what's cool about uh, Workspace. As soon as you jump back to that slide, you're gonna see this update show up here. So if we click on that, you can see that it'll update all the data for us. Now, another cool thing about it is, is that if we want to jump directly to the slide, we can click on, uh, we can simply click on the linked objects, right? And we'll see that right here. We can click on it, it'll highlight it for us, it'll give us some of the different options, and then we can open the source if we want and jump straight to that. So that's how you embed a progress chart inside of Google Slides. Now remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you right back here on Lean Strategies International, LLC.